God created man and woman. Within the world, he created them. Why do men and women have different organs, such as the reproductive system? Once God created man after causing him to fall asleep during his divine operation, he made the woman from one of the man's ribs. Thus, from then the woman has been internally shaped. For example, her mind, emotions and physical appearance. Well, I guess that would explain the curves. Sure, but in finishing my explanation, the man has always been external from the creation. For example, physically the genitalia, and actions such as violence, wars, arts and so on till this very day. Wow, never really looked at it like that. It's obviously changed since the Apple. What do you mean? The iPhone? No, original sin. Once Eve bit the apple she realized things before man did. Thus, women mature faster, but usually in potentially sinful ways. Ironic is it not? So, what you're insinuating is after that exposure to good and evil the woman has always been the median between the man and the world? Well, let's keep this conversation on the ground, and try not to go too far off into the cosmos. I mean, we aren't Talmudists or anything like that. I concur. So now what I am really wondering is your conclusion and solution to the somewhat original issue. Perhaps, this will sum it up. The true reason for the current universal relationship deficit is order. Order? Yes, it's quite simple you see, Sharon. All it really takes to get back to the state of Eden is plainly God, man and then woman. This was the original plan and order. Hmm, sounds fine, but I'm not sure if I fully understand Elijah. Well, I am sure you have heard of the old cliché. You are the apple of my eye. Of course. He was even God himself, but it man was not meant to be alone. So in truth she was all that really intrigued Adam even after she had bitten and offered him the apple. Therefore, it was only Eve who internally by emotion was persuaded into accepting outward thought. Which, happened to be the first marital problem. Also, this influence made the woman more outwardly spoken. Which, since then has graduated on to even running for world leader and other societal positions. Even reaching back to archaic figures such as Cleopatra, Deborah the Hebrew and so forth. Whoa, now thoughts a new book called Life for Americans. Oh, excuse I meant people who are socially clueless. Well, no one should dare laugh at seeing how most Americans comprise of immigrants of all over the world. Therefore everyone plays a part in this global social decline of morals and values. Yeah. And, in all fairness, that book does exist. Oh really? What is it called? And where is it? The Holy King James Bible an original translation of its 1611 copy with a preface of the scribes. Oh well maybe I should get a reading. Yes, and maybe you all should as well.